Today we're at Sam's Club. We're going to stock up on a few things, maybe check out some prices. One of our favorite places to shop right here. Check it out. The thing we love at Sam's Club is we can always get some great deals. Yeah, you got to buy a little extra, but I think we're going to notice some great deals in here, things that we need, things we're going to stock up on. We'll check out the meat prices, stuff like that too, so we can show you some of the comparisons that we've seen. One thing really awesome, as soon as we walk in here, they have a lot of stuff set up for Thanksgiving. They got the trays, stovetop, green beans, corn, all the fixings. They are looking very Christmassy in here. So at least we know Jess is happy. Good thing she got those gnomes too, because they're gone. I will say they do look hard at work in here. There's a lot of people stocking up stuff. This place is awesome. 10 bucks for 350 square feet. <laughs> I don't think that's too bad. Huge roll. That is the biggest roll of wrapping really paper not. I've ever seen. And they got the uh, foil wrap stuff. We're going to wait on that though because Dollar Tree usually has this stuff for dirt cheap. Jess just pointed out that's awesome about this wrapping paper is it's double sided. So you can either use the reindeer or the snowmen. That's not bad. That's a lot of wrapping paper for 10 bucks. Jessica just brought up an interesting point. The things that we're finding here now that we want, that we know, like, because we're saying, oh, we'll come back and get that. A lot of this stuff might be gone. So, you know, if you come in and get it now, at least we know we have it. And, you know, we may spend an extra dollar or two, but it's, it's good to know that we have the products because we don't know if it'll be here. You know, people are saying there's going to be a run on Christmas stuff. So we want to make sure that we get the stuff that we need. I don't really eat peanut brittle anymore, but I do like it. $11 though, I don't know, that might be a much, uh, well, I don't know, that's a pretty big container of peanut brittle. I always feel like there's gonna be these gift baskets and stuff, probably right up until Christmas. But again, if you find one you like, you might want to pick it up because who knows? Guys, you want to see an amazing deal. How many? 65 of the peanut butter trees for $9. One, but still. Yeah, those are the kind I like though. Sold. Everybody that watches our channel, you guys know that we love Sam's Club, and there's a good reason for that. They have got awesome stuff for awesome prices. Uh, get you a Sam's Club card. I mean, you want to save, you want to stock up, uh, you want to get ready and, and save in a world right now where prices are going nothing but up. This is the place to go. I'm not kidding. They are loaded with Christmas stuff. Christmas candies, trees, they got Christmas trees, all kinds of holiday stuff. For $6.60, you can get this huge thing, an eight pack of cotton candy. That's a great deal. You can buy the biggest jar of M&Ms. Oh man, that's heavy. Biggest jar of M&Ms you've ever seen. $13, oh, that is a little pricey, but I mean, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Good Lord, how many's in there? Three big, huge Three ones. of the giant ones? Whoa, how much is that? How much would you buy it for? 10 bucks. It's 13 dollars mm, I'd rather have the trees. I like the little peanut butter trees. You know, it's funny, since we've been in here, we've been hearing people walk by saying that Kroger's hasn't been getting this in. Kroger's hasn't been getting this in. So it's, it's nice to be at a store where it seems like they're getting products that a lot of other grocery stores aren't right now. I'm not gonna get this, but check this out. Cinnamon Toast Crunch Popcorn. I mean, that, that, that's pretty awesome. One thing I was really surprised with at Sam's Club is they sell these specific gift cards. Like you can get this $50 gift card to Golden Corral for $37.50. So you're getting a huge value there. Uh, great deals. You just have to check out which cards they have, which ones are on sale. Take the tag. Great deal. So $75 of Domino's gift cards, you're getting a free $10. I mean, this is pretty awesome. Right here, that yeah, this is uh, 45, but you're only paying 43. So some of them aren't as good as others, but you're still saving, still saving a few bucks. This is a 48 count of Energizer for $20. I feel like uh, Kroger or Walmart or somewhere, this would probably be half of this for $20. Maybe a little cheaper, but not much. Always check for the really good sales. For eight bucks, you get this big bag of Godiva ganache chocolates. I mean, you guys know this is an expensive brand for eight bucks. Man, that's a good deal. As you can see with the Cheez-Its, I don't know if they have more pallets in the back. They might, there's no way of really telling here at Sam's Club, but they are very low. They're very low on the Cheez-Its. It is only 11.78 for this big, huge box. So that could be part of the reason, but I know a lot of you guys were saying these are hard to get. Um, 
They do have, have the clubhouse crackers, but we see that there's not many here. So just bringing that to your guys' attention. If you find these, you might want to pick them up. The big money saver for me today. Now, I get Pike's Place Starbucks here, which is the same price for the same amount. You get 72 of them for $36.72. That's a great deal. I'm going to go with Dunkin' this time, kind of break it up a little bit. I do love my Starbucks Pike's Place, though. So yes, this time we are going with the 72 Dunkin' Pods. That is a great deal for $36.42. Switching it up from my Starbucks for a change. You would pay about $65 for this for the equivalent price at Kroger. So uh, that's a great deal. If you're like me and you get up real early in the morning and you have to take off real quick, we have a Keurig. Uh, somebody just told me uh, she was actually buying this for her mom. But she says she's real particular about coffee and says it's really good. Really good coffee. Or she says it is anyway. And uh, for 100 pods, $24.98. So we may try that sometime. I know I like Dunkin'. And it's a little bit more, but, you know, you got to go with what you love. But I probably will get that next time. Something we're seeing here, you know, lots of empty, where they have the plastic cups, foam cups. Looks like they are pretty low on these. I know this looks like a lot of toilet paper, but you can tell that they're, they're selling a lot of it. People are coming in and grabbing it up. Is that all they have is Charmin? No other brand. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we don't like Charmin. Okay guys, so one thing I want to point out, they are limiting you to one thing of toilet paper. All the Sam's Club paper towels um, and bath tissue looks like it's gone. There is nothing here. It is completely wiped out. So out of all the pallets of their paper towels that they have, which I know a lot of people like these paper towels, they have two things left. One thing we have to remember also is a lot of vendors and a lot of stores buy their paper products and stuff from Sam's Club. So we have to remember that. Kind of weird that it's wiped out on toilet paper. We came here a few weeks ago and it looked like they were pretty well loaded. They still were having trouble getting their own brand in here, probably because it's really cheap. Another one of my favorite deals at Sam's Club though, and they do have a bunch, which is cool. This is double the size of what you would get for at Kroger, and they are $4.99, sometimes $5.29 at Kroger of the original Coffee Mate. You get double the size for six bucks. What a deal. Did you see the big giant tub of Swiss Miss that I got? Did you pick one up? Yeah. All right. Yes. This is our favorite hot chocolate. $8, and my goodness. Only when you drink it with milk. This is huge. Not water. Yeah, no, I Make know. hot cocoa with milk, not water. You know what? Actually, I'm not surprised with what you guys have seen going around here. Nothing really surprises me anymore. We're just trying to find some of the things that we haven't been able to find in the other stores. And this is the stuff that we buy like on a normal basis here at Sam's Club to stock up and save a few dollars. You guys have watched our other Sam's Club videos for $7.26. I save a fortune on these 24 packs. Boop. Scan and go. Scan it? Oh yeah, let's, okay, so for our new viewers, let's explain, let's explain what we do there. So you scan the product so we don't have to wait in the line? Uh, yeah, you have to have the Sam's, sorry, I was making sure it didn't pop up. Oh. You have to have the Sam's Club app on your phone, and then when you're inside the store, it'll pop up for you to scan and go, and you can just scan all your things that you're getting, and then check out, like, obviously you have to do it with a card or something, you can't use cash. But you check out, and then you just show them the receipt, and you don't have to go to the register. Yeah, don't have to wait in line or nothing. And for a busy day like today, it's great. It's awesome. Noticing a lot of things that are going out here. These little rice packets and stuff. I mean, they're usually fully stocked on these. I'm really surprised. Actually, like I said, I'm not surprised. I don't know. As you guys know, we were talking about cereal before. And then everybody's kind of, I know, you know, not so much at our stores, but a lot of you guys have left in the comments that we've been having trouble getting cereal. I know uh, somebody said something about uh, Kellogg's uh, was having trouble. I'm pretty sure they all are. Not near as much as they usually have, that is for sure. So the two biggest things of peanut butter I've ever seen. Does peanut butter go bad in the cabinet? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, it probably lasts a while. Nine dollars and seventy cents. I mean, for one of those that they don't even, jars. yeah, they don't even sell that at Kroger. Not that 48 big. Forty-eight ounce jar. Did you find the expiration date? Yeah. What is it? October something, twenty twenty-three. Twenty twenty-three. So good for two years. Well, that's cool because it's going to take us that long to eat all that peanut butter. <laughs> Just just said something really <laughs> awesome off camera. Could you repeat that? I said I could make Buckeyes this year for Christmas and use it up. 
Man, yeah. That's... I usually make them, but I didn't make them last year. Yeah, it's happening this year. Okay, so you can't have peanut butter without jelly. Me and Jess have been having a discussion here. Let us know down in the comments, <laughs> which do you like better, grape jelly or grape jam? Which do you like better? I like jam, but they don't have it, so I'll get jelly. I like jelly, so <laughs> win for me. Let us know down in the comments which is your favorite, or if you even notice a difference, because I really don't. Before <laughs> mountain water liquid death, uh, I'll pass. One thing some of you guys were asking me is, uh, what does the pop look like at Sam's Club? I will say they do have a lot of pop. However, some of the pops that you guys asked for, like Coca-Cola, the uh, caffeine free and the coke zero cherry they do not have usually the rafters are full here with pop i mean they have a bunch up here too but it is all the same products that they have on the bottom you guys know we've been having trouble finding pizzas they do have pizzas here and there are some great deals check out this DiGiorno three pack rising crust for 13 dollars three of them jess really wants to try the donato's edge to edge Two pizzas. Two pizzas for eleven dollars. It is a little more than DiGiorno as far as Oh okay. Alright, get a get a nice fresh box. Oh yeah. Edge to edge, baby. You guys were asking about these. They do have these here at this Sam's Club. They got the croissant wedge, sausage, egg, and cheese. Got the big boxes. 1068. And they got the biscuit ones too. They are back in. Okay, so as you guys saw at Walmart. This is 160 pizza rolls for nine bucks. They had 130, I think it was $11. So you get 30 more and save a few bucks. Sold. Thing I wanna show, and again, you know, we really can't tell too much with Sam's Club. They could have stuff, I don't know, I believe they do this like a warehouse. They just bring it right out here on the pallet. So this may be all they have as far as like a lot of sauces and stuff like that goes. But I wanted to show you guys they got them in here for five dollars our favorite standing stuff taco shells 36 count for 5.92 this will fill you up the biggest can of baked beans i've ever seen though guys I, I am a little surprised not too surprised i gotta say though guys they are low on a lot of stuff they really are but they have a lot of stuff too so i'm not complaining this is why I married her, guys. What do you got there? <laughs> because I buy things that are terrible. <laughs> Check you know out what? that. You need sweets every now and then. You do. Look at that. Cookie dough. 76. I don't really eat a lot of sweets, but I like... Well, we're going to make like them for it. Christmas and stuff like that, probably. Yeah. Well, I usually get the packs that have like 10 or 12 cookies, and they're like $5 for two packs. I know, and right? this makes like 70-something cookies. You can just put it in your fridge and scoop out couple cookies or whatever if you just want a, something sweet Absolutely. or freeze it you know it you know we learn something new here every day i thought like for a loaf of butternut for 373 i'm like well that's we get that cheaper somewhere else it's two packs two loaves that's a great deal yeah. the expiration date is november 19th so that's only a couple weeks away if we can't go through it we may freeze one so we wanted to show some of the prices here. Uh, chicken drumsticks, 92 cents a pound. They do have the chicken breast that I think we're gonna get, which is $1.79 a pound, which is actually a really good deal right now because chicken has been going up in price. Do have the 90-10 very lean meat for $4.24. That is actually not that bad of a deal. As you can see though, they are pretty much wiped out. They have a few left. That's not a bad deal for 20 bucks right here. That's five pounds of the 90-10 very lean meat. So that's something to consider when coming to Sam's Club. That's, that's a pretty good deal. So they did have the tasting here. They have a lot of these little tasting stations. These Nan Bites, I mean, they're $5. Man, it is delicious. And we're gonna make it. We got the Black Diamond Extra Sharp Cheddar Cheese. Now this is $10, but this is kind of fancy. Uh, this is really good cheese. And Jess likes it. Yeah. This is a great deal on the stew meat here. Five dollars a pound. As we saw, it was like six ninety nine a pound pretty much everywhere else. The beef chuck roast six ninety nine a pound. That is a good deal. Uh, as we saw that, well, you know, I don't know. You get two of them here for thirty five dollars. 
that doesn't seem like too bad of a deal because we saw those ones where you got one for like 23 24 dollars that's a little much and this is where things get a little insane as we can see here meat has gone through the roof $19.99 a pound $20 a pound well they have a little bit of look at this $40 $40 for those two ribeyes yeah I told you it's it's going up big what time what are they saying like what does that mean like prime beef only hand two. cut and club only I mean I, it looks good I ain't gonna lie I mean those look like some good steaks but for $40 no thanks See, these are sirloin sirloin is cheap Sirloin is the cheapest cut of meat you can get. Twenty-four twenty-one. Yeah, I mean that's a decent deal, I guess. Four thirty-seven a pound for uh, brisket. Actually, man, seventy-five dollars. Oh my goodness, meat's just going through the roof, guys. I am not kidding. I will say I came over here to the the meat counter here, which they do have a lot more steaks. Uh, these roasts look delicious. I'm not gonna lie. But $31 for two roasts. That's $15 a piece, though. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Better than what we've seen at some other stores. It's $37, but check out this tomahawk. Boy, that looks delicious. So it doesn't look like they even sell anything less than the 90% ground beef. But this, this kind right here is only $3.98 a pound. Uh, this is five pounds for $20. Same thing we saw at the other side. Uh, they don't have as much as we would like, but you know what? They do have it. One thing uh, we do pride ourselves on here in Cincinnati is Geta. Uh, Gleer's is the most well-known Geta place in Cincinnati. Uh, I know eight fifty-eight for this sounds like a lot, but at Kroger's, you'll get about that that much, about that much, for six fifty, seven dollars. So that that's a good deal. For those of you who don't know what Geta is. It's like sausage mixed with oats, kind of like oatmeal mixed with sausage. They are out of turkeys. A little surprised that they don't have any turkeys right now. The lady said they may be getting some in. May have to go to Walmart or Kroger for that. Hopefully they still got it. Okay, so I just asked somebody. He said they should be getting turkeys in here in about a week, week to week and a half. So that's good. We may come back here and see if we can save a dollar too. Because I love my turkey. She doesn't. She Ew. loves ham. I hate Thanksgiving. We kind of do both. No, you don't. I just don't like all the food. I don't like turkey. I don't like stuff. I mean, I like stuffing. I don't like, what's the other S thing? Sweet potatoes. I don't like. You like green bean casserole. No, I don't. I don't like. I do. Jelly, cranberry thing. She likes ham. Some of you guys were telling us about our Sam's Club trip to stop at the little cafeteria here. Just got the chocolate frozen yogurt. Is it pretty good? It's good. Yeah. I got the pretzel. And the pretzel and a drink, all three of these things for three dollars. What a deal! That was a fun trip to Sam's Club. We love this place. Stocking up, buying stuff, a lot of stuff that we needed, you know. And uh, luckily, they had a lot of the stuff. Some of the stuff they didn't, but we expect that with some of the things we've seen lately. Uh, stuff like the toilet paper, stuff like that's a little low. But you know, for the most part, they got a lot of stuff. Meat prices are high here, as we saw, but that's all over the world. Meat prices have gone up everywhere. That's just the way it is for now. We're just going to have to live through it. Yep. Grin and bear it. So thanks for joining joining us today. It was a lot of fun taking you guys with us, uh, doing some price comparisons and stuff, seeing what things are. So with all that being said, we are out. And always remember, the adventure is out there.